Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about self-sabotage. This is a concept that someone has brought up and now I'm re-looking at it through the angle of the new way. Now, what is self-sabotage? As soon as you think about it, it comes to mind, if I know better, then I should be doing better. Now that gives our monkey mind, our ego self, our shadow side, a very good opportunity to constantly whip ourselves. I know I should be spending more time with the children. I know I should hug my husband more. I know I should be out making money, like whatever it is. But then you start to go, well, I, I, what am I doing? There's something wrong with me. Now that's brought then up. You've got limiting beliefs and you've got blocks and it's brought in a whole spiritual world of modalities. Let's fix this because you should be doing better. And it's bringing up so much shame and guilt in women. But anyone who talks about self-sabotage because I should be doing better. Now the word should is included in that. With the new way, it's flipping it to realize that let's say you wrote down every single way you know you'd like to show up in the world, all your perfect ways. I'd do this, I'd be doing that, I'd be doing this, I'd be doing that. It's not possible. You don't have the time, the energy and the money to be able to manifest yourself in the perfect expression. And if you could, you would be crying tears because you would be done. You would be bored. You would want out. You honestly would. There would be no challenge. And this is why I've written my book, The Game of Life, How to Play the New Way, because we're playing a game and it's not a direct line to creating the perfect life. There is reasons that we need to go through the shadowy sides, the parts we wouldn't choose for ourselves, but, oh, yes, I did in my soul agreement. They're the parts that we have to learn to go and accept and embrace what is, what wants to play out. You know, I wish I could have spent more time with my children when they were younger. Many of us think that. And then it's to make sense of that, to go, well, what now? And that brings us back to feeling, to the feminine, to being, to embodying your journey through the light and through the dark, not just oh, I know I should be doing better. So I've got to go and do something to fix this. I need to go and get rid of this block or get rid of what's holding me back or sit in shame and not get up and keep going with life because I'm whipping myself. My monkey mind is constantly whipping myself and I'm caught. You're not caught. It's actually knowing how to play the game. And the game is to be feeling what it feels like to be a mother and not spend enough time with my children. What it feels like, to know I should be cleaning the house and I'm sitting here scrolling. And when you start to embrace this feeling side of your life, you suddenly have purpose. You suddenly start to go, I don't need those people shaming me that I should be doing better. I've choked down a lot of shit in my life. I've had a lot of challenges. That stuff is real. It holds us back from doing the perfect life. And energetically, it's perfect. It holds us to divine timing. If you're not able to get up and do the thing that you think you want to do, it's divine timing. You're not supposed to be doing it. And then it comes back to, so what are you going to do with yourself? You can sit and you can scroll. You can sit with your emotions. But as I start to talk the new way and the idea that we've got a seed of intelligence that's pulling us to our path the whole time, choice gets taken out of it. There's so much shaming out there, starting from school and parenting. Well, you've got a choice to behave better. You've got a choice to be able to do this. If you know better, you should do better. But then why do I keep going and sneaking the chocolate? Why do I keep sitting and scrolling? There's an energy holding you back or pulling you to what you think is wrong. And there's so much more in my book about this as far as what we think it should be, what we'd like it to be, what we were brought up it to be, what we think our husband thinks it should be versus what is, what actually wants to play out, the unperfect journey. And when you make peace with I'm on an unperfect journey and I'm sitting here and I, yes, I can't be bothered getting up because I have had a tough time as a parent or I'm exhausted from all the trauma and all of these things, we get to a place where you're having heart for yourself. And I can't say that enough. This is the time, especially for women, to start to have heart for yourself, your journey, where you've been, and to remember, again, explained in my book, the blobs of lava, what I call your emotions, are constantly rising from the past for you to do something with. 
And that's the point where if you're sitting on the couch and you can't get up, if you're thinking, gosh, I wish I'd spent more time with the children, you might as well be getting into feeling and having heart, having those emotions, the sadness, the grief, the frustration, the disappointment. There's so many balls of emotion, so many angles of emotion to be felt through each of these themes that we're sitting in. All spelled out in my book. So if you want to learn more and have that put out in practical stories and analogies, examples, then please go and buy it. It's at HeidiHosking.com forward slash shop or just head to my website and you'll find your way. Um, but that's the point is to start to remember there are concepts out there that are from the old world, e.g. self-sabotage. And they need to be relooked at because they are only causing us to sit and whip ourselves and shame ourselves more and more. And they are selling us towards certain modalities that are claiming to fix us. But actually, the point being is you have to be able to sit with your own stuff and to honestly feel through these emotions and the themes that you're playing out as a mother, as a woman, as a child. That's what's there to be looked at, not I need to keep going on the perfect path. I know what I need to be doing, so I should be doing that. I should be doing that, doing, 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 as opposed to I'm being. Um, so if you sit and be and be lazy and actually feel through your emotions, you are double ticking off your work and you are double getting yourself energy, motivation, clarity, intuition, all of that to get up and do what you know you want to do. We're all so heavy in life because of all the emotions that we've been holding on to, our physical body is literally doing the work. We are heavy and that's what's preventing us from getting up and moving. More to come. Um, please do like and share this if it rings true. I really need everyone's help to keep spreading the message of the new way. If this feels relieving for you to get the monkey off your back and to actually have a heart for yourself instead, then please let others know because there's many women out there that need to know this as well so they're not sitting in that shame for any minute longer. That is the waste of time in life and it needs to be said to our children as well. So as soon as you get this or start to get it, float the concept to your children. Do we have something that's pulling us to where we need to go and it's not a straight line perfect? It's actually, yeah, there's times where life is shit or life, you know, you know you want to do something, but it's just not the time or factors won't let it be. All we can do is feel the emotions of, I know where I want to be, but actually I'm forced energetically to play out this character, not the perfect one that I think that I am. I'm going to stop talking here and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.